great Scott is on the field. They got a fantastic machine. We've been seeing them testing lots of iterations going through. This is 7974. Great Scott, introduce yourselves and uh, take it away. Tell us more about your robot. Hello, my name is Josh. My name is Jack. My name is Shervin. We are Great Scott, 7974. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Apply the skills you gain as a first student or mentor and help change the world at Stryker. Stryker is a top career choice for many of those in first because of their commitment to innovation and saving lives. Learn more about the incredible culture at Stryker and view their thousands of positions available around the world at careers.stryker.com. If your team is utilizing SOLIDWORKS, make sure you join the 3D Experience EDU student community. Get support from SOLIDWORKS and their engineers, and also download robot models, kit of parts, learning content, challenges, and more. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Student Community. About our robots, yes, we have gone through many, many design iterations. Um, the first of which was actually what you're seeing now. This was the original idea. And we decided to reuse our old chassis from last year, especially since um, we used a lifting mechanism similar to the one that you see this one on here. Uh, it's exactly the same, actually. It's a single stage belted drive. And what it does is allows the mechanism to lift up to the height that it needs to score on the low and the medium poles. Unfortunately, we don't have the height to get onto the high poles yet. Uh, that's something that we are definitely going to work on in the next season. We've been seeing a lot of amazing mechanisms from the teams that we've been working with, and we'd love to incorporate those. Uh, would you like to talk about the design process for our club? Yeah, sure. So, uh, as said, we used the chassis from last year, and a few times we had to go through and sort of reevaluate our, re our design. So first we cleared out the interior to make space for the claw, and then kept going through many design iterations for the claw. Yeah, about the claw, we actually, uh, I'd like to mention Team Gearheads for giving us the design to their claw. It was an extreme example of gracious professionalism, and we couldn't have built this robot without them. So, onto our, onto our autonomous strategy. What we are currently doing is, to score, we are simply doing the 20-point parking with custom sleeve. Um, we start here, and this is actually where things get cool. We noticed that FTC has not yet put out the TensorFlow files for this season in terms of image recognition. So what we did is our sleeve actually has three colors on it, solid colors, yellow, white, and black. The yellow and white correspond with the yellow cubes and the white balls from last year, which FTC did provide recognition for. That way, we have the filter low enough where the robot thinks that the yellow and white on the, uh, on the signal are cubes and balls from Freight Frenzy. So when you guys, let me, let me ask you on here, uh, when you guys were looking at coming up with design, this is a pretty complex design, I think, especially in 30 hours with having the, the articulated wrist, linear slides, and all that stuff as well, too. Uh, how did you, you know, how, how, did you become that ambitious to say, hey, this is something we think we're going to be able to do in time? I think the irony of the license plate called Out of Time on the back of your robot, by the way, uh, is great. But how did you figure out, like, hey, this is a realistic thing for us to do in 30 hours? Um, I think that we originally thought that the claw would be good. Like, we could just add that on to our slides and we would be good. But then uh, we started getting, we started realizing that it would get more complex than just that. So we ended up having the flipper, which was actually from last year, to bring it over to the other side of the robot. And then that's when we realized it'll, when it flips to the other side of the robot, it's upside down. And that is actually a penalty, if I remember correctly. So then we had to add the articulated wrist to turn it upside down so we could score properly. Looking at uh, into the future for your team, is any of this going to be potentially incorporated in your design for your uh, robot for competition play? Uh, yes, we are definitely going to be looking at using the actual claw mechanism that we've already 3D printed and put together in our competition play. 
about the full articulated design and the flipper, we're not entirely sure about that, but we may see that. Uh, how about some lessons learned for, uh, for teams? What do you guys learn in the, the robot in 30 hours, and uh, uh, what advice do you have for maybe uh, other teams who are approaching the power play challenge? So we learned that um, it's not as uh, intimidating as it seems, and we also um, we had to use a lot of creativity and problem solving to figure out uh, what to do and how to implement it in the robot. Yeah, I certainly agree with that. There's um, this challenge certainly seems complex at a point, uh, but as you get to learn around it, it's not extremely complex. And I'd just say the best key to this game, instead of an amazing robot or just straight up scoring points, the main thing is going to be strategy. You're going to want to strategize, make plans with your alliance partner to figure out how you can make the best points possible with the limited cups you have on the field. Um, Aloha wants to know in chat, by the way, how'd you come up with a great Scott for your team name? Uh, we are actually not original from here, and everybody who knew how the team name was created graduated before we got here, so we're not entirely sure. But so, we've so it's it. been lost in time? Exactly. All right. You get it. <laughs> For sure. Hey, if you got any other questions for uh, Great Scott, make sure you get that in uh, chat uh, as well, too. And we can always uh, grab them later, should those questions uh, come up. Uh, guys, before uh, we wrap up, anything else from your team? Any uh, uh, future thoughts or lessons learned that uh, you want to let the audience know? Uh, we do not have anything. All right, perfect. Well, let's give it up for Great Scott, everybody. A great job uh, to them. Thanks so much. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com FIRST to register your team. FIRST alumni and mentors are making Stryker a top priority for their internships and careers. That's because Stryker knows that those in FIRST are the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. If you want to help make the world a better place by creating life-saving medical devices and technology, get started at careers.stryker.com. Special thanks to Team 8680, Cracking Pinion, for hosting Robot in 30 Hours and also to their sponsors.